welcome back. That's gonna be my intermission. Hey, sound. that's gonna be the sound that I put in when I have to cut anything. It's like that's what we did with my buddy Dave, man. He just, I was like, hey, sound check. He's like, I just want you to know, got a ton of penis, but with this beautiful voice and this amazing guitar, <laughs> and it turned into. I'm gonna try one of these. Hey, then. Dave, uh, we're gonna exploit you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. I think it's a twist off because it's, oh. it's a yingling. It's a yingling, so it probably yeah. is. I've had yinglings that were not twist offs. So what? yes. Where the fuck were you at? Not Pennsylvania. No, I. What got are from... they just? Is that an exotic thing outside of PA? It could have been. Not. I was uh, in PA definitely. Is that also your first time pouring a beer? You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach him anything in college? <laughs> nothing. You know what? Nothing. It's the Oktoberfest. Yeah, that's it's their fault. Anyway, shit. you're next on your list. Next on your number list. four of my most overrated bands, I'm gonna go with the Eagles, guys. The Eagles. Yeah, I gotta listen. Hotel California is a great song. Probably their only one that anybody ever knows, though. It's, yeah, probably. They're like insanely popular with, especially with old people. Listen, Don Henley is a talented guy. Uh, his solo, his solo shit was good. Boys of Summer, nobody can turn that song off. Nobody can. I just feel like, aren't they the like highest selling albums of all time? One of them. Oh, like, are they country or are they classic rock? Nobody knows. I don't know those stats per se. They, they're up there. They're up there. Like I it's like Michael co-host. Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> it's like Rolling Stones and the Eagles. They're up there. My co-host Kenny like knows all those stats. For no fucking reason. Well, Kenny, <laughs> they, they, they're up there. They're top five. Guaranteed. And that's too high. That's too damn high. And the, you, like, you think about the Eagles, like, what do you think song-wise? Literally, Hotel, Hotel California. Hotel California, yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that comes to mind. Desperado. I feel you on that. Desperado makes me want Desperado to strangle sure, somebody. But... Hotel California, number one. I like Hotel California, but they're overrated. Adam, are... Are the Eagles overrated? I don't honestly have any strong feelings about that one way or the other. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, yeah, you're not wrong. And you're right in the fact of, uh, you know, when you think of Eagles, what do you think of? Put up, that's the first thing you, song you think of. You can't think of anything else. But I don't really honestly have one strong feelings. One or the other. It's, it's your pick. It's whatever in my I don't really listen to Eagles on a regular basis. So, do you guys ever like l- like listen to songs and try to understand what they're what they mean? Because sometimes songs are fucking out. No, there I don't give all a shit. The time is this actually. guy Hotel California? Is he in purgatory? <clears throat> is that what it is? Is he dead? Are we, are we getting into this? <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't, don't want to waste too much conversation. Not, I'm I don't, trying to have. Okay. I don't think no, we smoked enough good. weed for this conversation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So. we didn't smoke any. Weed Everybody yet. knows every lyric. I would the like song. to have this conversation and then smoke weed and have it again. It sounds like this conversation is a podcast by its. <laughs> Dude, no. I, I honestly don't know the answer. That's I'm a asking. fucking sick ass fucking conversation, man. <laughs> like that is something that has always bugged me. Like, what does he talk about? You can check out whenever you want, but you can never leave. That's fucked up. That's like, I want to go home. Up, I want to go home. No, no, no. I got to leave. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, uh, you said I could check out. No, uh, no, re- I mean, no really. No, like, maybe no. he's just talking Seriously? about The Shining. I only had six days off. I got to go back to work. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, dude. Like, there are a lot of metaphors in that song that I think about, especially when they talk about, like, um, they kill the beast with their uh, steely knives. Yeah. Like, I feel like that is an obvious... Uh, Maybe it's not obviously. I feel like that's a metaphor about cocaine. You know what I mean? They're chopping over razor blades. I love it. So you never picked up on that. Love See, it. Though. And it you know, sense. so they're taking that, and then like you can never leave. I never viewed it as purgatory as much as I viewed it as addiction. I always thought that Hotel California was about being addicted to cocaine. Or being addicted to heroin. One of, one of Heroin's the other. different. I mean, cocaine... I found out as an adult, like, wow, everybody does cocaine. It's really not, <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. I was hey, like, guys, what's going on? You like, like the soccer game? Like, Dare lied to me in fifth grade. <laughs> like, it's really not that big of a deal. Where yeah. heroin is. Okay, you know what drug, heroin sucks. You know what Dare stands for, right? I learned this in fifth grade. Um, drug abuse... Don't doing education, something like that. Wrong. Drugs are really expensive. 
<laughs> I love it. That's even better. <laughs> I love it. See, that's why I failed there. No, no. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere there is like comic book guy from the simpsons sitting here listening to this podcast like mm, these idiots they don't know what hotel california really means Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> worst podcast ever they've never heard of a smithers podcast <laughs> hey watkins it's up back to you your next pick okay okay wait i want to say, we both have our lists are you going right here out of your head straight off the head <laughs> yes. bro I guess it's too good. This is why you need to listen to his show. See, uh, <laughs> we don't do stuff off of notes, um, particularly. Um, I don't know. Uh, next one, I would say, definitely is ACDC. You're, you're um, right. That, I thought about that one, too. You're right. ACDC mm-hmm. is awesome. Don't get me wrong, but every single fucking song sounds the same. Um, ACDC took a hiatus for what? 17 16 years and then it came back and it was like okay cool this sounds exactly like back on black and i'm really not into it like i appreciate you guys coming back but i'm sorry go ahead oh no i'm sorry it's it's one of those like depressing things i guess for maybe for a band to realize you sound great but you only have one fucking sound like yes. that's it. That's all you have, and every all ten of your albums or whatever sound exactly the same. Like it's got to be the most depressing thing. Like you know they know it. They don't care because they're getting paid and they're fucking bitches and doing drugs. But you know they know it. They have to. They have to. There's no way that they don't. Like, how do you release an album and be like, all right, let's do that again, but exactly the same. <laughs> like, that's exactly what happened, dude. Like, there's no way that didn't. You know what I mean? Like, bah, bah, in a sack. And then next thing you know, it's just like, how wait, hell. It's the same fucking song, dude. Yeah. But like, tad bit different. <laughs> I mean, I get it if it's a, it's a lot bit different and you kind of have the same vibe. So people pick up on that. Like, hey, man. This genre of band is a little bit different than normal, but no. Well, I think no. a lot of what made their popularity is when they were really coming up, it was a big party time. It was a big, like, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll time of, like, yeah. you know, we're doing this thing, and it doesn't matter if they sound the same. It all sounds like fucking party music, and I'm going to fucking do this cocaine. I'm going to chug this beer. Coke, I'm going to fuck this woman over here. And I'm going to butt chug this beer. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm going to sniff cocaine it, out of this It doesn't matter ass. if they're playing TNT or Thunderstruck or whatever the fuck they're playing. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's all it, it, it all fucking gets me my heart pumping and just throwing a party. I'm going to fucking throw this keg somewhere. That's what it was. That all comes around to today, too, because there's actually a drinking game that uh, my friends play called Thunderfucked. <laughs> where I'm Thunderfucked. Yes. Every time um, they play Thunderstruck by ACDC, and every time he says Thunderstruck, they have to start chugging a beer. Whenever he says it again, they stop. And That's terrible. It's a terrible <laughs> fucking game right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so whenever you start and you keep going, like the person who has to start chugging during the fucking solo, wrecked. They're fucking wrecked. Either they're I throwing up or so. they're just like, they're a good person. <laughs> yeah, I imagine fucking so. So where do you go number for the next three, one? Number three. Number My three. My next one. I don't know what you're going to just say. This is a band I like. I like this band a lot. I like their music. But you feel they're overrated. I feel they're I overrated. Get I get it. Journey. Ah. Oh. I agree. Journey is so great. Here's why. Because anytime somebody says, oh yeah, I listen to 80s music all the time. I fucking like Journey. That's the one band they fucking go to all the time if they say they like 80s bands. You're right. Dude. They, they You're always go to Journey. 100% always. right. And I'm like, I like Journey. I like a lot of their songs, but just shut the fuck up if you don't listen to any other 80s anything. One time I was in college and I was at a frat party. I don't know why. Frat parties were the fucking worst. But I was at a frat party. <coughs> don't Stop Believing comes on. Everybody's singing every word because everybody who's an American knows every word to Don't Stop Believing. Except for this poor sap. This one kid in the room did not know the words to Don't Stop Believing. So these frat boys, they made the DJ stop the music, turn the lights on, and they singled this kid out. 
and they made him sing the words to Don't Stop Believing, which he didn't know, so he bumbled up. When he fucked up, they threw him the fuck out of the party. He was not allowed to be there for not knowing the words Don't Stop Believing. And that's why frats suck. That's why frats suck. <laughs> that's, that's one of the many reasons why frats suck. Are but we I, uh, <laughs> also incorporating America into frats because... I love your brain. That's how I feel right now. That's how many people feel right yes. now. That's you are not alone, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I'm not trying to get no, political, you're, no, but you're dude, fine. You, you, that's he, the way he, it goes, he loves man. It. Everybody always goes to one point, man. It's like, whoop. It's like a magnet. Like Everybody sticks to that one point in the wall, and then like, how do you come off of that? Well... Yeah, that's, I don't know. That's yeah. That's it's it's that's a weird everybody's thing. Everybody's fucking answer, dude. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I didn't agree with it when it started. Blah 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 blah. That <laughs> like, is, that is a whole other podcast. That's right how there. people feel about Nickelback, though. I didn't. We I didn't, do know the words of the song, right? I Everybody do. sitting at this table knows the words. Yeah. Okay. We appreciate you, Scott. Scott what is your number on a scale one to ten? One? You're an eleven on that ass, though. <laughs> I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm going oh to. So, for my five and four, I had the Beatles and the Eagles. And those are like my parents' like two favorite Is bands that ever. Is an alliteration thing that you're trying to throw it at happened. us? It just happened. Okay, okay, okay. It just happened. But my parents love the Beatles and the Eagles, so I feel like I'm shitting on them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch gears here, and I'm going to go to a band that I kind of grew up with. I definitely had one of these albums, and I liked it. But I'm going to go with Nirvana. Here's the deal. What? Stop. Don't say anything. That's my number two. And oh. He, and you know what? I believe that is overrated, but I kind of put it on there because I wanted to hear your thoughts on it because I know well, you I like love Nirvana. Oh, Nirvana. you do? You're a big Nirvana fan? And he's going to he's gonna can we just Can we just like screenshot my face? It's it was. Pretty, it he, looked like one of those jaws sex dolls, like a sex doll, like sex face, doll. like the old it. face. I love it. Yes. Oh. So here's my reason why. No disrespect to them. No, I, I, <laughs> I want to hear it, dude. No, I want to hear it. I don't. Wanna, I don't <laughs> want to talk the right of the dead. And I, I actually got the Nevermind album, and it's one you can listen to start to finish. And some of their earlier albums, since I've been older, gone back and listened to them. Might might even be better. But, but. Kurt Cobain offed himself at a relatively young age. Did he? Well, maybe his wife, that, Courtney I'm Love. Sorry, that was obviously... Uh, okay. He died. Right. For whatever reason, he's not. <laughs> he's no longer living. So they didn't put out music since, what, 97? What year? Yeah, 90, 97, 96, I think was... Uh, 96 year... might have been. So the point is, like, it's been a long time since Nirvana's put out anything. Long it because. Time. So you still see 13-year-old girls wearing Nirvana t-shirts walking down through the mall. Like they don't they couldn't even tell you one song, but yet here they are wearing Nirvana. I think that was a meme that you had on one there's of There's actually yeah, there's actually a video of that. There's a a chick wearing a fucking uh Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit shirt. And the guy filming the video of this girl goes, "Hey, can you show me the uh do you know who... There was uh, a song playing. There was a song yeah. playing, I think it was. And he's playing Smells Like Teen Spirit. And he goes, do you know who this is? And she's like, no. No, I don't. And she's wearing a Nirvana shirt? While wearing a Nirvana <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> that smells like Teen Spirit. And he goes, okay. That's why. Okay, okay. That's why they're my number three. Yes. I also think... I've got nothing against Nirvana. Really, I don't. I'd like to understand the lyrics as he's singing them. There's I no can't underst understanding it. I'd like to know what the words he's Are, saying. They're the face of grunge. Wouldn't you say like Pearl Dude. Jam or Alice in Chains should be above Nirvana for the face of grunge? He's he's cringing. I know he's, he's like, cringing. I'm, he's ready to My fight over this. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm Eddie ready. Vedder and Pearl Jam. I'm Come on, ben. Eddie Vedder. He's great. For grunge. He's great. He's grunge, but what the fuck is he other than Eddie Vedder with a fucking uh, You don't like Pearl Jam? I love Pearl They're Jam. They're great. But what is Eddie Vedder, dude? If if you got in a fight, he is who would you rather have defend you? Kurt Cobain or Eddie Vedder? Eddie 
better because he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Scott. <laughs> oh man, that's a, that's a good point. That's okay, a good point. okay. <laughs> Retract said statement. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, nothing against Nirvana. I was a big fan of them, but they're my number three. Watkins, what's your number three? <laughs> oh, hold on. We have, we have to He's not done this. yet. He's got to yeah. collect himself. We're, we're not done. Of course, yeah. You're going to pick Eddie Vedder, but... Oh, Chris fuck. Cornell. Chris Cornell's another one. Dude, I've awesome. gotten in some deep conversations about this Very recently. Very talented guy, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to get political in what's going on nowadays, but... Uh, the whole uh, Chris Epstein fucking oh Jeff Epstein Jeff Epstein committing suicide kind of deal and suicide um, my butt right at him. exactly right at him. my, my big butt. Fat butt my butt my fucking ass that's what you're trying to say yeah. um that whole deal dude like that's nuts like that's I'm not trying to bring this to that so dude bring um, it dude. We take twists and turns to get to where we go, so... Well, look look at people like Chester Benningfield and fucking Chris Cornell. People who were doing stuff like that. Um, they were trying they were to bust... They very anti-government, yeah. ...pedo rings. And yeah. all of a sudden, this guy who has the ability to... put people like Clintons down and... I don't know... <laughs> Everybody else, there's a bunch of top name people that he had the word of, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden he commits suicide. But air quotes suicide. He was on suicide watch. Um, he tried to commit suicide, in my personal opinion, so that he would be on suicide watch. Um, he tried to commit suicide. They started filming him. So that he would be on suicide watch, and then all of a sudden he dies. Where's the footage at? Like, we don't know. The cameras were malfunctioning, right? Mm-hmm. That's what they said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's right there next to the UFOs in Area 51. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dude. 20 years from now, <laughs> we're going to be old men. 20 years from now, it's going to come out how dirty the Clintons were, how dirty <clears throat> Trump is, how they're... Well, we know Bill's dirty. Look, man. We know look, Bill's dirty. Look. We saw the impeachment when he was in the White House. All we know he's saying, a dirty man. Like, Adam, you can have your own thoughts. That's that's what I want for everybody. No, I, I want everybody to think. <laughs> no, he loves conspiracy. I love conspiracy. I love him so much. I love him to death. What I want is everybody to realize that this is my personal theory on life, okay? I feel that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You guys are both looking at me right now, and I feel kind of nervous. Dude, you have the stage, man. You got I know theory. you got like, a theory, man. Right, hold up, hold up. Let me just uh, straighten out my fucking uh, kilt. My He's got a kilt. Shoulders. Okay, so you're in life. you in life. My personal theory: I feel like everybody is not allowed to tell you what exactly is happening. So, in response, they are allowed to tell you what is happening, but with metaphors. So, therefore, brings about movies like um, The Matrix. Uh, was it one with Leonardo DiCaprio? Inception. Inception. Thank you, sir. You have Ooh. stuff like that that brings you about to that. And... Um, you you really start thinking, and you're like, wait a minute. Start scrubbing your face fucking real hard, and you're like, that is really close to home. You know what I mean? And from that point, you start picking up everything else in your life, and you're like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This is very, very similar to what I just watched. So what I think is that they're not allowed to tell you what happened or what is it happening, but they are allowed to tell you 
clues so you can pick up <coughs> what you want. Yeah. And if you believe it. Yeah, they're they're putting little messages. Little person. messages. Little messages. Exactly. Out. Yeah. And yeah. that's how the universe is gonna go. Like the <laughs> In my personal opinion, The Matrix, <coughs> spot on, dude. Smack. You guys got that to a I'm talking team. about making a sequel to At that. At least The Matrix 1. Maybe not so much 2 and 3. You know. For sure you know, one. I've, Regardless, I've gone back, dude. <laughs> I've gone back. Not not to go off topic too far from our top five list, but I've gone back and watched all three Matrix, Matrixes recently within the past few months. And honestly, the sequels are literally the exact same writing style and the exact same story they're trying to tell from the first one. The only problem with them is the CGI is so terrible that I think it gives people a bad taste in their mouth. I don't give a fuck about the CGI. The idea of the movie? Dude. So so here's my question for Dude. you. Dude. If you were ever to get out of the Matrix, would you free us? On a scale of 1 to 10? You guys are Chance. definitely a fucking After this four. podcast. Yeah. You guys are definitely a 4. <laughs> we're on there. We're, we're on the. Screen. We're above zero. We're above hey! zero. He's, hey, he's already got a scroll of the list. I'm fucking kidding, he's, man. He's thinking dude. about us at the very least. He's thinking about us. You know, I remember those guys. Maybe we'll get some up there. Dude. I gotta be honest. Leave me. Just leave me. Fuck that. Take Sorry, me Scott. out. Fucking Take leave me. Take me out. Leave me. Take me I got, out. I have I'm to. Re- red I just want. It. I just want to know. I just want to know. That's all. Just take me out. I just want to know. If I have a number three, it's definitely going to be disturbed. Disturbed. It's a pretty fair number three. They're like, what you call it? Like new metal, almost. Like pseudo metal. Yes. Yeah. No. 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 New metal is a, a good point, but however, I wouldn't classify them after their first album. <clears throat> like everybody thought they were going to be new metal, and they have kind of fell off from that. They, I didn't they, know they had more than one album. To be really did. honest, are you kidding me? I'm with all the fucking serious. all the shit they've been doing right nowadays, like um, they have the ACDC syndrome where it's like everything they do sounds the same, pretty much. Yes, kind of. Unless they do like a cover of something, pretty much everything they do sounds the same. Even with the covers that they do, sounds the same. In yeah. My personal opinion, and I agree with you uh, wholeheartedly, man. There's but, a great YouTube out there. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but there's apparently some uh, karaoke. DJs who go to bars that actually records people doing karaoke, and when people do down with the sickness, oh, ah! and they've recorded people yes. doing that part, it is fucking gold. Okay, <laughs> it is so good. It's that's what they're known for. It's the thing they're known for. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Actually, there's a um, I mean, I'm just gonna say this like most people don't know, but anyways, there is a local. Uh, haunted house in our area called Ghoul Mansion. In way back in the day, they actually used to do a intro to their haunted house, where you walk in and while you're waiting in line, there's a person called the Shocker, and while you're waiting, like he just sit there and there's nothing going on, and all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of steam that comes around. And there's like three minutes go by, and you're like, "What in the fuck is this, dude?" Like, I'm kind of asthmatic. This is bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, who the fuck is vaping? Exactly. <laughs> this was before vaping, though. Okay. So at this point, all of a sudden, like they just like turn on the music, and he goes, "Oh!" Ah! And like this guy just like comes on, and there's these like strobe lights flashing, and it's a guy inside of an electric chair. Just bang his head back and forth and screaming and flipping the fuck out. And you're like, wow, dude, disturbed is metal as fuck. <laughs> but then you grow up and you realize that disturbed is pretty much like a penny on the side of the road. Like you're you're not going to pick it up because it doesn't matter. Occasionally, I will listen to a disturbed song when I'm like running at the gym. Or something like that. It gets the blood flowing a little bit. Wow, dude, I it feel gets, bad for you. Man. It gets, it gets like, like five finger death punch. It gets the blood flowing a little bit. They're pretty bad too, right? <laughs> They're like the Nickelback of metal. I'm like licking my lips right now because I was like, wow, gets, Adam just basically said my entire list. <laughs> 
they were coming up next. Uh, yep, Five Finger was next on my list. Was it? Oh yeah. shit! I spoiled it. it. They get the blood flowing when you're trying to run. We can go. With really it. trying to just go. They they kind of get the blood flowing a little bit. My issue with them. Um, Okay, let's let's uh null Yeah, we'll save that disturbed. for your for your next one. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's oh. just null disturbed. Okay? Like I get it. They're cut from the same cloth is what I'm getting. Exactly, yeah, dude. Okay. Like they were trying to reach the same audience. Like they're trying to reach a pissed off people. That's what they're trying to do. Oh, I'm a pissed off person if you haven't never listened to the podcast. I got, a I, got a lot, I got a lot I got a lot of road rage. But you go from okay, drive the speed limit, motherfuckers. Down with the sickness to them covering fucking Genesis. You know what I mean? Like that just doesn't sound like Phil Collins to me. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> How do you go from that to that? You know what I mean? And there are people who said it was amazing. I thought it was okay, mediocre at best. And then you have them covering um, the Sound of Silence with Simon and Garfunkel. And Garfunkel himself said that he thought that that cover was pretty good. Okay. So, like, me being a music connoisseur, I, dude, I ripped that shit apart. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? The Sound of Silence by Disturbed, I did not enjoy. Yeah. I did not enjoy. How do you feel? You can't beat the classics, I guess. You can't beat the original. I don't care what cover you do. Like, is it from a movie? Was it played in a movie? It may have been. It's but possible. No. I've never okay, seen but it. No. Okay. The sound of silence was just. Why? I feel like I've heard it. Why would I have ever heard that? Because you're fucking old and you know what fucking records are. Okay, I do. But yeah, no, it's not good. Not good. No. Disturbed. They're awful. Yes. <laughs> Thumbs up from Josh over there. <laughs> well, all right. We did my number two already. Okay. We did my was Nirvana. So we okay. kind of we kind of went through that already. That was my it's number rough. two. So it's back to me. It's back to you for number two, Scotty. Scotty. I hate to do Come this on, to you guys. Dude. Oh, boy. You said you hate to do this just, when you did the Eagles. I didn't really give a shit about just, that. So hits let's... his hands together. You know we had to do it to him. I'm going to go Green Day. I'm going to go Green Day, very overrated band. Dookie was good. Dookie was good. Since then, they're still I would, here. Did you guys know? I would agree with you if I heard about them a lot. Like, but like, they're more, like, like more well, pop culture. That's even more reason to agree with Scott. They got, they have a Broadway, mu- they, they had a Broadway musical. What? Why? Um, it was American Idiot. That was like their worst <laughs> album. Why? Really? They- yes. Look at that. <laughs> There was a Broadway Holy musical. Shit. You know how like Mamma Mia was really popular. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. it was based off of ABBA's complete sound catalog. Yeah. And then they did Hair, which was like a whole bunch of hair bands from the 80s. So they're like, hey, we got something here with doing like bands as the music for our musicals. Why don't we pick, how about American Idiot, the most mediocre album of the 2000s from Green Day? We'll do a complete musical based off of it. They did. It was god fucking awful. But it existed. It existed in life. And I just think they're incredibly overrated. I like Dookie. Everybody liked Dookie. But since then, they still tour and they still do things. And why? I mean, Good Riddance Time of Your Life is a two minute and 12 second song. And everybody's fucking graduation, graduating class picks it as their song. I agree with you, man. <laughs> okay. All right. There's no way to escape that. Like. That band was um, the forefront of punk rock. Like, um, aside from actual hardcore punk, like, that was what got people into that. And, like, Kenny and I talked about that. And it's hard to dissociate from that and mainstream, but then all of a sudden they became mainstream. And pop punk. I feel invented yeah, pop punk. I feel like with American Idiot that solidified their existence in pop punk. You know what I mean? With Dookie, um I don't know. I feel like Dookie was an album that was kind of out there. Most people didn't get. They didn't understand it. You know what I mean? They're like, "All right, well what is this?" Okay, I'll listen to it. You know, whatever. Fuck it. But 
when it came time for like American Idiot and uh, Nimrod. Yeah, Nimrod. Uh, Nimrod was that in between, I guess. Mm-hmm. But people were they didn't know, I guess. Especially when you come with young people who are like, "Oh wow, dude, my dad sleeps till September too." You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're <laughs> you're upset. Like if you know what. Wake me up when September ends. Means, God, I wanna, you know what I mean. That song, oh, like it's bad, but dude, come on. The meaning, like, he wrote it about his dad, dude. Like, his dad died in September. He hates September. Wake me up when September ends. We've all got dead people. Like, I get it, but it doesn't mean. <laughs> That's a Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy quote. For yes. You. At least he only did one song about that, unlike Taylor Swift that does a whole album Fair about enough. breakups. At least he only did one song about that. That's yeah, what you I'm gonna say. People like Taylor Swift who are doing fucking whole albums about a fucking breakup. We dated wait uh, a one like, week and now we're breaking up. Let me just go ahead and write about a fucking album about you. It's a great Taylor Swift impression, by the way. Thank it's you. like for the for Thank the you. ages. For yeah. the ages. He sounded more like uh, Lady Elaine Fairchild from Mr. Rogers' <laughs> Neighborhood, though. But it was really good. My bad. <laughs> no, I loved no, it. No, it's though. great. I loved it. Okay. Dude, new, hey, Mr. Ro- new, new Mr. Rogers movies? Are we it's still... great. T- no. This is number keep, two. It's number two. going on. You. It's number two for you. No, he gave this. Number two for me would be Five Figures. Yes. So, okay, so we already be- briefly talked about this. So we're on our number ones, then. Yes. Numero unos. Num un. If you are a French-speaking person. Um, if you're not, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know if Noom is. I don't know what number one number is in French. Anyway, my number one, oh. Scott, this oh. is gonna this is gonna beat you. This is gonna tear you up. Yeah, tear you up because you love. I know this what you're gonna do. I'm gonna tear. I know what you're gonna do. You you're gonna say Matchbox Twenty. I'm gonna fight. fight you if you yeah, do. No, 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 it's not that. It's, it's not three a.m. I must be lonely. Yeah, you're gonna tear Scott up, Kanye West. Okay, I love Kanye. He's so he's... fucking overrated. I dig it. <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I I was like sitting here like with the fist back, like ready to go, and you're like Kanye West. I was like, you know Kanye what? West is batshit crazy. It's Nobody... not because he's batshit crazy. The music he does now is not good. He is it's talented. All fucking... He is talented. He's not, he's not talented. The sound engineers that work for him are talented because everything is overproduced and auto tuned. He writes all everything. Of his stuff. No, he, he fucking doesn't. It. No, he fucking. Okay, yeah. He's the white shoop de boop. That's what he fucking woke. That song. Shoop de fucking doop. Shoop de boop was unfortunate. But that th- you shouldn't write him completely off because of Shoopty Boop. I've listened to a, I've listened. I I went back and listened to some of his new fucking shit on some of his new albums. It's all fucking garbage. It's some all of, shit. Some of his lyrics. It's all fucking. Some of shit. his rhymes. It's are very he's innovative. Overproduced, and he's o- fucking auto tuned badly. By the way, badly auto tuned. But that's mumble rap today. That's today's hip hop. But it doesn't I'm, mean just because it's today's fucking hip hop does okay if it's if he's following a bad trend that makes him fucking bad. Mumble rap sucks. Yeah. So therefore, you if he, you, shouldn't you can't defend trend. him because he's following a fucking trend. You can't defend him because of that. You he, should not follow a trend if you're trying to write music. Like if you're trying to write music to express yourself, you should just do what you want to do. You know do. he wrote why why you know he West? you know he tried to build there we go. he tried to build a New Hope Tatooine <laughs> fucking houses in California those underground dome fucking houses and he didn't understand California fucking law and they fined him for it. That goes back to being batshit crazy, Adam. We I know. Talk, I just, what does that I have know, to do with music? It doesn't. Though? I just want to bring it up because it was funny. We can talk. I just want to bring it up. That's it is all. Fun. So. We can talk an entire podcast how batshit crazy he is. But let's just talk about the Carter Three by Jay Z. It was written and produced completely Stop. by Kanye West, which is why he is even on the map today because he wrote and produced that how entire. How old is that fucking album? Old. Old. Stop talking about say... fucking old shit when we're talking about. Okay, if you're you're over, if some of your shit is good, then doesn't mean you can be fucking overrated now his new shit sucks his new shit is garbage okay i get Life that of pablo was fire to you know I, uh deliver i used to love Kanye i feel West. like you got people like eminem you got people like dr dre you got people like snoop dogg like their shit was fucking great back yes. in the day but how do you say that like Oh well, it's still kind of uh, great it was today. Wrote back in two thousand and three, and was old. Doctor Dre and old Snoop Dogg is still pretty fucking great today, though. 
It's still fucking great today. I know people- Old Kanye West was fucking great yes, today. Yes, old Kanye West so was great today. So you were today. literally arguing against your argument. But there are Snoop Dogg songs and Dr. Dre songs that came out later that were great. There are Eminem songs that later that came out great. All of Kanye West's songs he is over an fucking- entire song with his jaw wired shut. Tell me who has done that besides Kanye. And yes, it goes back to him being a little bit crazy, but he did it. But was it good? It was very good. In I don't 2002, know. Was it was it? very good. I don't know because I've never listened to that. But was Through it the wire? Well, then how do you have an opinion? Because I've listened to some of the new stuff that's come out the past couple of years. But you've I've listened, listened to old. I've listened to old stuff. I've listened to old stuff from like way back when, whenever I used to love his shit. And then I stopped listening to him when he went batshit crazy. I still listen to some of his old shit. And then I was like, you know what? I've li- I keep talking shit on Kanye West. I haven't listened to stuff in a long time. I've listened to like, like some songs from the past couple albums. I listened to some. I didn't like any of them. They were all fucking garbage, auto tuned, overproduced bullshit. Is what it was. Hmm. And he's not even good. His, his auto tune isn't even good. Go if you go to T Pain for fucking auto tune lesson because his is at least good. Yeah, T Pain can sing without auto tune. <laughs> Have you seen Kanye that? West no, can't no. fuck. Yeah. and you man. know who can't sing without auto tune? Kanye West. Go listen to the Bohemian Rhapsody thing he tried to do live on stage. Oh, you'll, that was rough. You'll see he can't that fucking pr- he can't sing or do anything without anything uh producing a shit. To the point where he started singing Bohemian Rhapsody, he realized mid like Partway through the song, he couldn't sing, so he started pointing the microphone to the audience so that he could be like, "Oh, we're going to include the audience." But really, Didn't he just Freddie Mercury really, do just... the same exact thing. When yeah, but he... Freddie Mercury could sing. Yes, thank I, you. I mean, Freddie Mercury could sing, but he, but I'm he was up what Adam's putting down. Like, yes, Kanye was like a shitty fucking singer. He so he's was like, good. Hey, he... hey guys, do what I can. not Don't but... try to take on Bohemian Rhapsody if you can't fucking sing it. Freddie Mercury. Was a hard person to take on. Yes. Um, one of the recent episodes that me and Kenny t- talked about was covers. You know what I mean? Like, how do you cover certain songs? Like, how do you cover Bohemian Rhapsody? You don't. That's that is that's what you do. It's you a hard it. song. Has anyone tried? Besides um, actually, it. personally speaking, I had seen a uh, band called um, Between the Barity and Me. And I'd never heard of them before. My buddy Dave introduced me to them. He was like, hey, we're going to go see the contortionists in Between the Barry and Me. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah, the contortionists are cool. And then we go and see them. And Between the Barry and Me, I was like mind fucked at the way that they played music. Like literally. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that I've seen them play four songs. And it was 37 minutes long. I was like, <laughs> "That's those are long ass fucking Holy songs." Holy fuck, dude! Yeah. I was like, "Jesus Christ!" You know, this is fucking insane. So, you know, another five minutes go by. They end their set and they leave, and they come back out on stage and they do an encore because everybody's fucking screaming for them to come back. They do an encore and they do Bohemian Rhapsody, and I was like. Wait, what? You know, I'm, I'm sitting here just stroking my beard like, no <laughs> way, dude. No way. And this guy's voice is just like, he has that pitch perfect sound. Um, They had that pitch perfect guitar. Like, it just was like this, dude. Like, And that's what you want. How do you cover a fucking Bohemian rap That's what though, you, you want. Know? You want somebody that can do that. And Kanye West has this fucking Jesus complex where he thinks he can do anything. He can has literally do anything. Kanye covered Bohemian Rhapsody. That's what he said. He, he just did. He just he did. Just, he? he tried to live, live. He tried to. I guess it was bad. I heard that too. It was, I listened I'm, I'm to it. it. I I'm not going to say it. that it's a piece of shit. However, I wanted to, but I listened to it. It was bad. He couldn't. He couldn't finish it. He he made it like. He made it like a solid maybe 30 seconds into the song and realized he couldn't fucking sing it and started like introducing the audience to it as like a joke. Like, oh, I'm going to sing it as a joke now instead of serious. That's what he did. It was fucking terrible. Did you hear the whole deal with uh, Lil Wayne and Pink, or excuse me, Pink Floyd, uh, Blink-182? No. They toured together, right? Yeah. He just left the tour. Oh, I think I did hear that. I think I did hear that. Why? Um, It was not his crowd. 
I yeah, I did I do think I heard that. Mm-hmm. He's, he was like, yeah, it's not his crowd. Yeah, Google so. it, man. Um, I forget what show it was, but halfway through, um, he just said, he comes out, starts singing, gets like partway through a song, stops, and he's like, you say my niggas, <clears throat> this is it. And then he just walks off stage and leaves. And then that's uh, fucked up. You don't do that. That's fucked up. Yeah. And then, like, from the reports, like, he was just, like, apparently, um, it was not his crowd, so he could not perform for them. And I was like, you literally went on a tour with Blink-182. <laughs> like, yeah, who did you think you were going on tour with? It's, it's not a trap band, <laughs> you know? What the fuck are you going to do? Bullshit. Yeah. Kanye West. My number one. Okay. Overrated musician, performer, band, whatever you want to call it. All right. So we're going to my number one. Number one for you, Scott. And I love that we're on the same uh, the same flow here because I just brought up Pop Punk with my number two in Green Day. And you brought it up in this last tour. My number one is Blink-182. Ugh! Blink-182. They were the biggest band in the country for a good five six years you're not they kidding were, they were enormous and i bought into it i bought into it and then i saw them live they can't sing man they really have trouble live like i would even go so far to say what you said with kanye i'll say that about blink seeing them live it was it was hard to watch it was it was just a lot of loud guitars and trying to sing fast Horribly pitchy, very pitchy, and and nothing like how it sounds on the album. Respect respect the art that they're not lip syncing to begin with, like a lot of artists do. But seeing them live was very painful, very painful. And although they're not as big today as they were back in the two thousands, we'll say yeah. that they were so big, so big, and you it, it, because I knew how they weren't. As talented as the, as they came off on the album, that's why they're my number one. That's fair. I've never seen them live, okay. so I don't know. I'm I'm gonna take your word for it because I don't know personally, and I'm never. Gonna I go, guess I'm shitting I mean, on pop punk. Too. I'm never I gonna. Guess, I guess I kind of am. But I'm never gonna go on okay. YouTube. I'm never gonna go on YouTube and listen to them live. I'm never gonna do that because I don't have that kind of time, and I don't really care that much. But I'll take your word for it that they kind of suck live. Um, I for one have fond memories of blink 182 very much so um but i will i will agree that they're they're a little little bit overrated a little bit i'll say a little they bit. were enormous like they, I were, fucking huge. they were huge oh, shit i literally have an album by them called the mark tom and travis show strikes back it was a live album just literally live shit that never been played before like yeah, we're gonna put this on a fucking CD, like, <laughs> and people will buy it. Yeah, they literally said "cunt," "pussy," and "dick." Like, we're gonna put it on a fucking CD. Book it, book it, <laughs> <laughs> and they did it. You kind of gave the stink eye when he said "Blink One Eighty Two. I was bit. upset, dude. I'm upset, <laughs> man. I fucking. Love. It's not that I don't like them. I, I fucking do. love Blink One Eighty Two. I do. I I like. I like. Their dude grand hey. stuff. I loved Enema of the State. Hey, I love Journey, and I put them. On, I put them on my list. Yeah, so. it just, it, but they're overrated. But we attribute to the overratedness. I guess that's what we're going with. There. Yes, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. All that's right. Number one. So Scott, that was your number one. Josh, you're last on your list. You're the last one for this list. What is your number one top overrated musician, band, performer, whatever? You know, I had one, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm fucking freaking out, dude. Why are you freaking out? Because your mom's a really nice lady. My mom? Yeah. Wait, just say it. Just say it. Your mom's a really nice lady. No, but like, what what, what does that have to do with my mother? I have no idea. I'm a little confused. (laughs) He forgets what his number one was. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. We'll come up with a new one. Well... You did ACDC, you did Nickelback, 
With he did disturb. disturb. Five finger death punch. I I don't know. It's heartbreaking. For me to tell a band that they fucking suck. It's not saying that it's they suck. It's not saying they suck. I, like I said, I, lo- I love Journey. I love them. I think they're overrated. I don't think they suck. Like, for the example, I don't necessarily think Taylor Swift sucks. She's a great singer. She knows how to play an instrument. I just think she needs to fucking sing about different shit. I don't think she <laughs> yeah. sucks. I don't think she sucks. Don't so you're not, sing about... So you're not, well, so you're hey, not telling a band that they suck. You're just saying, I think you're a little overrated. Adam, I love I've, you. Adam, I've got an honorable mention. Okay. Can I go while you think? Please. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's my honorable mention. And the reason why I, I mentioned this band is because in the same in the same category as Blink-182, this band might not be as popular today as they once were. Although they've become kind of a meme band, so that's kind of fun. But back in the 90s when I was in like junior high, every tween age girl like had posters of this band and i thought they were so overrated and that's the backstreet boys the backstreet boys were enormous guys they were so huge they were selling out stadiums and you could argue the same thing about in sync so we're but in we're, we're talking boy bands though we're talking any, boy bands any band because in any sync in sync at Anything. least had justin timberlake justin timberlake is a talented fucking dude you can't take that away from him. My no. first concert ever, to be one hundred percent honest, was in sync. No, I know. I was ten years old. So, Backstreet Boys were nowhere near as good as in sync. Can we can we agree to that? I yeah, think in sync. I one hundred percent agree. Yes, to that. of the two boy bands of the nineties, in sync yeah, was in sync. Like yeah. literally, just shit on. But they but yeah. they rode those coattails to. To stardom, they were huge guys. They were selling out. They were selling out seventy thousand seat stadiums across America. In the in the ni- in nineteen ninety nine, they were doing that shit. But they fucking sucked. They do. Yeah. Okay. And here we are talking about them. That's why they were my honorable mention. But they're Thank not you. big today. But they're not big Thank today. You. Yes. Here we go. They're not that big today. Although I want it that way has become a meme song. And really good song. It's even become a cover song. Yeah. To the point where like there are metal bands who cover in sync. They didn't My like wife. That, that might be the most metal thing you can do. <laughs> Co- cover a boy band but turn the song into super metal. That might be the my, mo- the most metal thing you can my do. My fucking wife like shows me boy band covers of like their metal songs, dude. It, it's insane. <laughs> if if you have the time Please go and Google uh, Let It Go by Betraying the Martyrs. And it is the Disney song. Like from Frozen? It is the Disney song from Frozen, Let It Go. And it's this metal. I just imagine like a scream of, Let It Go, just screaming out. I'm telling you, dude, it's, Let It Go! Let It Go! That's just what I imagine, yeah. Dude, it's insane. Like, it was done so perfectly, I can't. I can't. I literally cannot. I love those crazy, insane covers like that. On a I scale love one to ten, I can't, dude. I can't even. So, Scott, that was your honorable mention. I don't have any honorable mentions. I made my top five, and I said, fuck it. That's where I'm going to stick with. Did you think you're number one at all? You have a number one? It's okay. I'm waiting for I'm, I'm waiting for Scott. Don't don't judge me, dude. Well, well, why are you waiting for Scott? I don't know. I he just did. want Scott to talk about stuff. That's okay. So that um, think about things. If you honestly, you know what we can do? We can we can have yours. Be hundred percent honest. Judas Priest. Judas Priest is Judas that Priest. is that your number one? Fucking hate it. That's okay, dude. You don't have to feel my sad. wife's going to be so about upset it. about is it. Is that why you did it? Because you're afraid your wife yes. is going to hate you? When I met my wife, she told me her favorite band was Judas Priest, and I was like, okay. You know how you solve that problem? Just don't ever listen to this episode. That's what you do. That's how you solve the problem <laughs> right there. Think about it, though. No, sweetheart. Like, I wasn't on this show. What are you talking about? I'm not about? even mean, like, bullshitting. Like, think about Judas Priest. Songs. I don't like... I'm not a fan of Judas Priest myself. I, I'm not a big fan of them. Couldn't get into a metal. Like, no matter what it's, song I listen to, I couldn't get into It's not even metal. It's like, poppy. Hey, do you guys want to listen like to me metal? Isn't it like 70s metal, though? Yes. 70s metal is very different than current metal. Like, 
not even recognizable. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And it, most most people... I like I like Judas Priest in their own right. But I get what you're I I I'm, I'm going to use a I'm a coin a phrase that you like to use. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. <laughs> so My so Judas Priest man. Judas Priest is your number 1. But now you have to sleep on the couch tonight. Was it worth it? No. Listen, listen. <laughs> I I bought that couch and I ain't sleeping on it. Okay? <laughs> she will. <laughs> However, when she listens to the episode, she may be upset. You know, my wife, my wife my so wife's upset. Isn't that just marriage? My wife is half upset at every episode we say, do. Half the time, like, isn't that just marriage itself? She's like, you talk about titties way too much on your podcast. Well, like, well maybe you should show your fucking titties <laughs> to me more. You know, you ever Scott, think about that? Scott, now you're like, well, I've got a comfortable couch now. So, <laughs> that face of the TV. I got a new couch. I love it. So, there we go. It was a good show. Very good very show. Very good show. Josh, I, we very much appreciate you coming on. It was a lot of fun. We love you listen, on. Like I said, okay, I'm going to get real personal here. Dude. But you guys are the whole reason that I uh, started my whole fucking podcast bullshit. I was like, dude. Adam's got it down. Scott's got it down. Let's fucking do it. And I hit up my buddy Kenny, and he was like, yes, 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 yes. Let's, like, 100% yes. Like, every time, no matter what happened throughout the board. I was like, well, there's a chance that we might get syphilis. He's like, let's do it. <laughs> and I was like, all right, fuck. That's, I how guess you live that's, life. Why, yeah. that's why we have antibiotics. Yeah. <laughs> so let me, let me give you some advice before we sign off here, because... There's something that Adam and I do. There's something that Adam and I do that I think is the best advice I can give to any prospective podcaster out there. Each other. It's have fun. Have fun. Because we don't give a damn how many people listen to this show or if we're going to get sponsors. I mean, if there's sponsors out there that want to give us fucking money, I will sell out in a fucking minute. Oh, yeah. We are sellouts. 100%. I'll suck a cock for a fucking... <laughs> I will suck a dick I, for I, a paycheck. Yes, I I've, seen, I've seen it happen, but that's not here or there. <laughs> so, so it, it, even if those offers don't come in, we don't care. We don't care if the only people listening are us. Because it's fun to do. You get to hang out with your brothers. You get to have some good beer, and you get to talk about things that entertain you. That's all that matters. You don't have to Fuck be yeah, Joe. Dude. You don't have to be Joe Rogan or Kevin Smith. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you don't have to make a living off of this. You just have fun doing it, and that's what we do. And that's why I recommend everybody who does it. And there's nothing against Joe Rogan or Kevin Smith because we love them around yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> love them so. Shout much. Shout out to Joe Rogan podcast because, damn. Speaking of podcasts, why don't you plug yourself? What is your podcast? How can they find you? How can they find your social media? Where they can, where can they listen to you? Uh, where can they find your? What's Twitch? your favorite what? thing? Pimp yourself. Yeah, pimp yourself out. Like, pimp where can they find? If your you guys Twitch, want me to pimp myself stuff. out, you guys can go ahead and check us out at extraordinaryexpletive dot com or whatever. It's uh, facebook dot com slash extraordinaryexpletive. We're um, our main website is off of Facebook. However, we are also on Spotify. That is our first podcast group we are also on itunes and we are on um what is it uh google play music so you guys can find us there we tried to do the pandora thing but pandora was just they're way harder than everybody else are they i mean yeah yeah it was way harder we're not in a lot of places we're we're on mainly soundcloud and itunes and beyond that we kind of don't branch out too far yeah, we tried. Um, we tried to be SoundCloud, iTunes, and uh, Podbean. Yes, we're on Podbean. Yes, we'll, we'll Podbean. talk about them in a minute. But yeah, we're on. We're also we, on Podbean. Um, we we tried to reach out to a couple other ones. You guys on um, YouTube? Yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, we are we too. actually we do. Are too. We do uh, YouTube videos. We do uh, live videos every time we record. And um, if you guys are into the podcast scene, like. Watching us do it is a little bit different, especially um, when we have somebody else come on. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Extraordinary Expletive, we do uh, artist interviews at least once a month. So we have somebody who plays music come on. They play our <laughs> live set, if you will, and they uh, 
talk to us, bullshit back and forth for an hour. And then they actually play us some music for about um, 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes, and we go from there. And Dude, it's fun. always a good fucking time, man. That sounds fun as shit. Like, really does. Well, Adam, tell the people listening, if it's your first time listening, how can you listen to For Your Distraction on the regular? If you want to listen to For Distraction, first of all, you already listened to For Distraction, so you probably know. But if you want to tell your buddies, SoundCloud. We're on SoundCloud. Search For Distraction. We're also on iTunes. Search for distraction, rate us, like us, comment on us, share us with your friends. The only way we grow is if you guys help us grow. We are also a member of the Be Real Podcasting Network. Head over to Podbean and search for the Movie Guys Podcast. That's our official and official hub for the Be Real Network right now. I believe we're also on YouTube. I think if you go to the Movie Guys Podcast YouTube channel, they upload all the audio on there too, so you can search up there. Um, if you want to email us, what are your top five? overrated bands oh, yes. email let us, us let us know like how that's wrong that's the best dude how wrong what we, did we miss exactly how wrong were we do you do you hate us for what we said do you agree with us whatever i want e- comic book guy from the simpsons exactly to email us <laughs> we and will tell us what he thinks hotel california we'll talk about it on the show well, absolutely unless you don't want us to we do it we do it so we, yeah you email us we talk about yeah it. email us for distraction at gmail.com also on Facebook and Twitter, search for distraction at podcast F Y D. Josh, thanks again for coming on. Yeah. Dude, absolute Don't blast. forget Extraordinary Expletive. We are on fucking YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, uh, Google Play Music. You guys gotta check us out. We are gonna be shouting these motherfuckers out. This is the whole reason that we started, dude. For your distraction is like my go to fucking people, man. So please uh, give them a like. Give us a like. If you are on YouTube, please hit the fucking bell because that keeps you notified and then we can keep bringing you new videos. If you don't, hey man, that's your problem. But if you want to, we're here for new content whenever you want it. I am rock hard right now.